Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you're not doing good and staying safe. In today's video session, we are going to understand another important topic in Salesforce, which is dynamic dashboard. Here is the agenda for today's session. We're gonna cover what is dynamic dashboards, how can you set up a dynamic dashboard, what and all are the limitations along with the advantages, then we will get into our end-to-end -end demo. Let's understand what are dynamic dashboards. Dynamic dashboards enable each user to see the data they have access to. Now with this dynamic dashboards, you can control the data visibility without having to create a separate dashboards. And it is not really needed that you create multiple dashboards for multiple users. The single dashboards can be used for multiple users in your organization because whatever the access they have, the users have access to, according to that, the users will be able to view the dashboards. Now, based upon your organization edition, suppose if you are using developer edition, then you can have up to three dynamic dashboards created. If at all you are using enterprise edition, you can create up to five dynamic dashboards. For unlimited and performance edition, you can create up to 10 dynamic dashboards. And if at all you are using any other editions, then the dynamic dashboards are not available by default. In some cases, additional dynamic dashboards are available for purchase. You can reach out to your Salesforce support and check with them if you can make use of the, if you can buy the dynamic dashboards for your, um, whatever the editions you are currently in. Let's understand certain limitations of using the dynamic dashboards. Whenever you use it, when um, you use the dynamic dashboards, you cannot follow the components on the dynamic dashboards. If you, you cannot save the dynamic dashboards in the private folder. So this is one of the major uh, limitations. Whenever you want to use it as a, whenever you want to use a dashboard as a dynamic dashboard, you have to save it in the public folder. If at all you have any dashboards which you have it in the private folder, then you cannot use it as a dynamic dashboard. Then you cannot schedule refreshes for the dynamic dashboards. They must be refreshed manually. That is the third limitation. Fourth limitation is deleted dashboards that are in the recycle bin count towards the five dynamic dashboard limit and must be permanently deleted so that we are no longer counting towards the limit. So there are certain limitations of um, the dynamic dashboard. So if at all you have any dashboards deleted in the updated, you know, you, you have dashboards in the recycle bin, you must have to permanently delete those dashboards so that we are not counting it against the limit. So another limitation is you cannot subscribe to the dashboards that are set to display data as dashboard viewer. If you are selecting it as dashboard viewer, then you will not be able to subscribe the dashboard. So that is the fifth limitation. Now, when, you, when we are talking about the limitation, let's also talk about certain advantages of using dynamic dashboard. As dynamic dashboards enable each user to see the data they have access to, the process become more streamlined. And that is one of the advantage. Now, the second advantage is, as I was mentioning, right? It is not needed to create multiple dashboards for multiple users. So that saves so much of time and it also saves so much of a manual effort. So those are the two major advantages of using the dynamic dashboard. This is the uh, last uh, option that we see whenever you go to the settings of the dynam of any of the dashboard that is select let dashboard viewers choose whom they view the dashboard at. So we will see this when you when we get into our demo and we will understand what different permissions are required in order to select uh, choose this specific option. So now let's quickly log in into our Salesforce Dev Work and try to open any dashboard and we'll see how can you set up a dynamic dashboards. We have uh, covered in detail related to reports and dashboards in our uh, channel SFDC One Stop, wherein you can navigate to the playlist and refer to reports and dashboards playlist. That playlist has uh, five sessions which talks about 
reports and what and all are the different types of reports how can you create a dashboard what and all are the different types of dashboards we have so you can go to that specific uh, playlist and you can um, uh, view those sessions in details to understand uh, about reports and dashboards so in our session we are going to make use of um, existing dashboards and i will walk you through on how can you enable it as a dynamic dashboard or how can you view it as a dashboard viewer so let us uh, log in into our salesforce dev org so this is what is my salesforce dev org and uh, i have opened a service application and navigated to the dashboard here you can see that i have this service cloud dashboard which is in the private folder so one of them point that you have to remember is if at all it is in the private folder you you will not be able to set up it as dynamic dashboard let us see whether you can set up this particular dashboard as private dynamic dashboards or not now let us see how can you first set up it as a dashboard dynamic dashboard let's click on this edit button here you can see this gear icon right click on gear icon this is where you will be able to schedule set up view dashboard as dynamic dashboard viewer so this is what is the option that we are talking about so when you view the dashboard as dynamic uh, dashboard viewer it is called as a dynamic dashboards so let's try to save it and click on save see you can it directly says that it is on the personal folder dashboards do not have dashboard should have the access please select a different folder now let us try to save it in the different folder i am using uh, service cloud dashboards folder which is public and uh, then let us select the dashboard viewer click on save and let us see whether you are able to save this dashboard or not see the dashboard is saved successfully the second point is you have to ensure that the folder whatever the folder you have saved the dashboard that specific folder should be shared with the users so this is what is the folder right now when you click on that specific folder on the right hand side toggle button you can see the share button you will have to share so i've already shared it with the specific user nana so nana can have access to this dashboard and the access that i have given is view only i have not given edit and neither i have given manage so this user will be only be able to view the dashboard so now let's go back here and here you can see right i am viewing as namrata kadiyala so whatever the access the user has according to that the user will be able to view the dashboard so this is how you set up a dynamic dashboards now let us also talk about the last option that we have seen you see this option right let dashboard viewers choose whom they view the dashboard as what does that mean which means that you need to have these two permissions when you have this kind of permissions the reader can view the dashboard as themselves or anybody else underneath the role hierarchy and when you have the view all data user permissions the person who is trying to view the dashboard can view the dashboard as anybody else so these are the two permissions that are required if at all you are selecting that specific option called as let dashboard viewers choose whom they view the dashboard as so according to the appropriate user permissions they will be able to view the dashboard okay so we discussed about all of those now let us only choose this one okay there are no more changes click on save done i'm viewing it as this specific user now let us try to verify whether any other user will be able to view the the specific dashboard or not so what i'm going to do is i'm trying to go to the users and let's i have a new profile which i have created called as sfdc one stop service user 
and I've assigned it to Naina. And let us try to log in as a specific user and verify how does this user sees the dashboard. So when I navigate to the dashboard tab, and I can see that folder service cloud dashboards viewing as Naina Kadiala. You see this? So that's how the other user will be able to view the dashboard. So as I was mentioning, right, one of the advantages is there is no need to create multiple dashboards for multiple users because based upon whatever the level of access I have, I will be able to view the dashboards. If I don't have access to certain um, objects or certain records, then I will not be able to view that specific dashboard. So that is the reason it is not needed to create multiple dashboards when you are using the dynamic dashboards. Now let us see, let's try to log out. Uh, let's try to log in back. And let us see whether you can subscribe it. That is also one of the limitations, right? You cannot subscribe the dynamic dashboard. Let us see whether you can do that or not. So let's navigate back to the service cloud application. Go to the dashboard. We have this dashboard. Let us try to edit it. You see, I think I'm not able to see subscribe button here, right? I, I am not able to see anything. Let's go back again to the dashboard. I don't see any subscribe button, right? Now let us try to change it as dashboard as me. Save it. Done. Now I see the subscribe button. You see the difference? Whenever you are selecting the option as not dashboard viewer, then you are able to subscribe it. But whenever you select the option as dashboard viewer, view dashboard as dashboard viewer, you will not be able to subscribe this specific dashboard. The subscribe button will be disabled, will be gone. You see, you are not able to. And you will not be able to refresh it also. You will have to, if at all you want to refresh the dashboard, you will have to manually go ahead and do this. You can't refresh the dashboard more than once. So these are the certain limitations that we have uh, already discussed in our slide deck. So this is what we have for today's session. If you find our videos uh, informative and helpful, please do continue to like, share, and subscribe our channel, SMDC One Stop. Until we come up with our next video session, please do take care of yourself. Signing off yours, Namrata Kadiala. Bye-bye.